Hello, my name is Bob Bokel. I am the Quality Assurance Engineer for Automation Service. In this video, I will demonstrate a question we get from customers about the inability of the heart communicator to recognize a transmitter. We see this issue when there is not enough loop resistance between the power supply and the transmitter. And also, when we are bench testing close to the regulated power supply or a very short wire run in the field. To increase the resistance, I will demonstrate how adding a 250 ohm resistor in series will help the heart communicator recognize the transmitter. For this demonstration, I have a regulated power supply, a two wire cable, pressure transmitter, and a 475 heart communicator. This first demonstration will illustrate when the pressure transmitter is wired to the regulated power supply without enough load resistance. When the communicator is initialized, it does not recognize the pressure transmitter. As you can see, the communicator indicates no device found. In this next demonstration, I have swapped out the wire with a different test wire that I soldered a 250 ohm resistor. This resistor is in series between the regulated power supply and the pressure transmitter. Now, as I hook up the 475 and initiate it, it searches for the pressure transmitter. Now that the heart communicator is communicating with the pressure transmitter, you'll be able to change the needed software parameters. In summary, if your communicator is not finding the heart device, adding a 250 ohm resistor in series should help your communicator to contact it. If you have any further questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact us at Automation Service.